Uh, hi friends, I'm getting you here from Wings India 2022, uh, a history of Indian aviation from the earliest times to the current chartered by the Aerospace Heritage Trust. So it is created by them. So uh, let's see what they have to show us. So here we have a lot of people. Today is a public day and people are showing. This is the heritage which we start from 1910 to 1911. And just see friends, they've got everything to show us. So we are just seeing. And uh, it's also lovely to see that parents are trying to tell their children how this uh, aviation history has been created. And we have from the early aircrafts after 1911, just see till the end. And I'll keep taking you down every panel which has a different history. So we've come to 1931 and we are here. And we have somebody with us, I know, who's also seeing the history of aviation. And now here you, and, and here you see the great Jagi Tata. And you know, Tata's come in and aviation history becomes professional. And then you see, there's a post-war airline. So when we, when we talk of the post-war, we are talking of the post uh, Second World War. So here we see. And then I'm going to take you here from below. And we have the handsome Mr. Tata. And when we as and when we go up, we see the history of Indian aviation, JRD Tata. And then again, it continues. So you see friends, Tata's is so much a part of the history and after independence we've got the governments of the days which have been so much a part of it and of course now just see, you can see the stamps which have got, you know, uh, released uh, on the civil aviation and uh, on the aviation in India and this is, starts from the British times. Huh? So you have British times and then you know right till Jain coming here. So just see, I'm giving you a quick recap. And then we start from here again and uh, these are the first day covers as they look like. Yeah, they are first day covers and we've got them right from British Times to India's Times. Again, a quick recap. And then we've got, yeah, so you just see them. You'll see them right from the beginning and they continue. So much of the Department of Post and Telegraph has done for the country with the aviation in mind. So it's really, really wonderful and now we've got beyond that and we come to the Deccan Aviation. If you all remember, it was one, or for all of you who don't know, it was Deccan Airways and, uh, you know, it was something wonderful which you see. So it was the uh, first flying, you know, which happened in 1910 with them. And uh, then, you know, when you go ahead, we'll take you back to the history and you see, this is history in pictures, friends. It's Deccan Aviation which has a great role to play when it comes to aviation in India. And then we again have, you know, now just see, aviation suddenly changing. And you're getting now modern looking aircraft. So just see, it's the jet age which has come. And then when you have the jet age, you have Air India, which was earlier Tata's and then the government of India took it over. And then you now have Air India. And uh, let's see. You know, it's just wonderful to see. It's it's just it's just something which is great. And you see the original Tata's air hostesses and the Air India air hostesses. It's right? just wonderful. You just have to see to believe. And uh, Air India has always captured the you know pulse of India as the heart of India with Tata's, without Tata's. Of course, it's gone back to its original owners, as you know of now. And then you know, let's talk about the MRO facilities. MRO friends is maintenance, repair and overall facilities for the aircraft and we've had so much of it happening here so you just see you just see it's now very very indigenous wonderful to see and then you know in this jet age we we have been dependent a lot on people apart from uh, Indian industry but now we've got this indigenization Atma Mandirbar Bharat make in India and uh, till then we had these you know so you can see you can just see, it's, it'll be lovely to see, you know, if you just see. So you see Vayu Doot, you'll see Alliance Air, you'll see Indian Airlines, then you'll see, you know, these were the original ones, from the big Air India to these small ones, which are also a part. And uh, you see the route maps, which were there, then. And then we come, now we come back to when privatization began with Sahara, and then let's go up and uh, let's keep moving. 
so we have jet airways and you have lions air and then you got uh, you know air india of course everywhere so air india when it was air india and under the government of india and uh, then of course this is something which they have put together showing you how the you know airports have changed so it is actually wonderful to see and uh, it'll be really nice friends if you have an idea you see the aero bridges have come started coming up modernization has come up and airports in india have become virtual huge mall and uh, at the moment the new airports we all know they are up uh, you can spend the complete day in them if you want if they give you the privilege of going and spending the day you rather not go to a mall but to go to the airport and from the window see the aircraft flying have your food have the best brands to buy from and then we come to the modern times friends where we have indigo spice jet privatization has set in go in go air and then you have got air india of course which is now a part of the tata group so it's now a part here friends so we've come now to the end of the history which is just one of those wonderful things to see and uh, we really need to thank all these guys for making such a wonderful pavilion for us to see it's it's absolutely uh, brilliant we are just opposite the andhra pavilion but it's uh, not made by them so it's it's just wonderful friends enjoyable and uh, like i told you earlier made by the aerospace heritage trust and like let me show you where it is yes so friends thanks a ton for seeing this it's wonderful and i'm sure you'll enjoy it